Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over the tickler. What the tickler does is keep track of important dates such as reminders, document expiration, as well as other things. Let us log into the caseworker portal. Now, the first thing to disclaim is the tickler is a standard feature, which means this is included in all subscriptions. It is located on your home page, and when clicked, you will see the tickler with all important dates you need tracked. Things we can monitor here are reminders you've set for the client or case profiles, documents, case expirations, and more. Let us look at what exactly can be tracked. Let us go to a client profile. One of the more popular reasons to use the tickler is to monitor your reminders. To add a reminder, go to the Reminders tab. We will click on Add Reminder. You will select the category, meaning what type of reminder, the due date, which will be the date tracked by the tickler, select a date to receive an email, which might be the same day or maybe days before, leave the completed area blank, select a responsible person, either yourself or another user, or all, CC anyone if needed, and lastly, type out what you'd like to be reminded about. Click on Save. The software will now track the due date, listing it on the tickler. Additionally, this client reminder will also show on the home page along with case reminders. Besides reminders, a popular reason to use the tickler is to add documents. If you go to the Documents tab and enter the expirations of a passport, I-94, or visa, those documents will be tracked on the tickler. When adding a document such as a passport, for example, be sure you enter the info including the expiration and make sure to check the current checkbox. Besides our standard documents being tracked, you can also track your own custom documents. This is a great place to store RFEs or any other type of document. Simply go to the user defined documents, go to add document, enter the information that pertains such as RFE and the type, the expiration, and make sure to mark it as current. Once you save and go to the tickler, the software will now be in charge to notify you days in advance. Side note that might help you. This user defined section can be customizable in the admin tools page. So if you want to add more types like a driver's license or other, do so in the admin and it will appear as an option here. The last thing that can be tracked in the tickler specific to the client profile is their non-immigrant status expiration. That is located in the general info section. Scroll down where you'll see non-immigrant status and non-immigrant status expiration. Enter the info here and click on save. As you can see, the software is powerful enough to track important dates for you and notify you days in advance. If I ever need to review what is coming up, simply go to the tickler and within each section I can click on a reminder, for example, to see what I have coming up. Once I do the task, I can either go into the client profile and complete it or click modify changes here. Set a completed date and the reminder has been completed. With documents, it works similar. I can click to view. A link is provided to that document taking you to the client profile where it is located. Now, besides client profile info being tracked, case profile dates can also be tracked. Similar to how client reminders are tracked, you can enter case reminders. You will input the info in similar fashion in the reminder section and once saved, it will show on the home page and on the tickler. Besides reminders, you can also track a general expiration you set to finish a case. That is located in the basic information section. The accounts receivable aging portion will show you all overdue invoices, but more importantly, how long they have been overdue. This will work if being signed up to e-immigration billing and have created invoices within the system. You can also view cases by process types in the last 12 months, as well as new cases per month, both which can also be viewed on the home page. The last thing you can track on the case reminder is process steps. Process steps are a set of steps you expect to do on a type of case, either yourself or others in your organization. You are basically listing every task, a time frame of when you expect to finish, and as you go completing these steps, it will list a new due date. If a process step is assigned to you and there is a due date, it will appear on your tickler. Please note, these process steps can be modified in the admin tools page to list exact steps that need to be done on your case. 
or you can manually add steps here on a case-per-case -case basis. Before we finish this video, a couple settings to point out. The tickler will show reminders and process steps specific to your profile. If you wish to see what everyone is doing, not just yourself, you will go into the tickler and click on Show Data for All Case Workers. By doing so, it will list everyone's reminders and process steps. Lastly, by default, the software has the days 0 to 30 days, 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90 days, and overdue, meaning if a reminder is 10 days away, it will appear in the 0 to 30 days section. You can modify the date shown. There are two options to do this. The first option is you can go into the Admin Tools page, go to the Application Settings, select the Tickler tab to the right and modify from there. What this will do is modify everyone's dates when going into the Tickler. You will simply select the area you want to modify, enter the new dates, and click on Save. Please note you must have access to the Admin Tools page to access this. However, if you do not want to update everyone's view, maybe just yours, you can stay in the Caseworker portal, go to your user preferences, go to the Tickler tab on the right, and in similar fashion modify the dates you want to see. Click on Save once finished. By going this route, you have now changed the dates on your Caseworker portal, but not everyone else's. Additionally, you can change the bar type displayed on the Tickler, and can even customize which sections to see and omit in a custom layout. If going back into the user preferences and going into the Tickler settings, you will see an option to leave it as bar or list it as a progress bar. Select the option you'd like and click on save. Under the Tickler settings, you will also see a subcategory titled layout. In this area, you can create your own Tickler layout from already existing sections by clicking on the plus sign, selecting the option you wish to add, and once adding all the case and client sections you want to see, Finalize by clicking on Save. By doing so, the next time you go to your Tickler, it will open to your user Tickler layout. If you wish to see the previous default view, you can simply click on the drop-down menu and select Default Tickler Layout. This concludes our video on the Tickler.